Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rag and Bone by James R. Ben. This is book number five in his Billy Boyle World War II mystery series, and I'm telling you, this series is just getting better and better the more of them I read. I've got the whole thing back here. How many of them are there? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty. I got fifteen! Fifteen of them. And he's still writing more of them. And they've got just magnificent covers. You know, we always talk about the covers first because I love graphic design and cover illustration. And this illustrator, Daniel Cosgrove, has done a great job illustrating every single one of these books. You can see the style is similar. Those are the first four. And then, uh, you know, we got the rest. Now, the only issue I've got with this series and the aesthetics of it are the spines of the books. Soho Press does these very strange spines. And I've got some other Soho Press books up here. And you can see they've got these, uh... you know, those are my Alaskan mysteries by John Straley and, uh, and Stan Jones. Um, but you can see they've got this weird, I just never liked the spines, but we won't belabor that point. So if you, if you're thinking that I'm reviewing, uh, a bunch of computer manuals, I'm not. I'm reviewing murder mysteries, even though they look like computer manuals. Or those idiot guide to stuff books. Or, or you know, those World War II for dummies books. Anyway, enough of that. I criticize them every time. I cr I've criticized the spines every time I've done one of these reviews. I should probably just let the... I've been beating a dead horse. Billy Boyle, he used to be part of the Boston Police Force, but in World War II, of course, he's now over stationed in Europe, and his uncle is Dwight Eisenhower, and his uncle uh, says, well, you were a former policeman, why don't we make you an investigator, because a lot of weird stuff is happening, and, you know, we need a police investigator, and it's going to be you. And it opens up in December of 1943 in Naples, Italy. And then he's given an assignment that he's got to go solve a murder that happened in London. Um, and so that's where he's sent. It's a murder of a Russian fellow. Now, about this murder, it's sort of uh, like a, got a bigger scope to it. It's sort of tied into this. Here's the thing. These books are packed with history. A ton of history. James R. Ben knows his history, and he knows his World War II history, and he just puts in stuff about World War II that I had no clue was even part of it. I mean, World War II was so huge that we just can't talk about every single thing that ever happened in it. And that's why I love books like this that come along that introduce me to new stories. And one of those was there were 10,000 Polish army men, prisoners, uh, just people that were murdered in, and it was called the Caton Forest Massacre. They were murdered and buried. 10,000. Now, who did it? Was it the Germans that did it? Or was it the Russians that did it? It's a big cover-up. Um, now, uh, we've got this murder of this Russian guy in, in, in England. We've got this bigger overarching 10,000 people were murdered by either Russians or Germans, and now we've got to figure out what's going on. And now we get we get reintroduced to Billy Boyle's Polish friend, um, Kaz, and is he involved in this whole plot? Is this a cover-up uh, for the Russians or the Germans? Are they trying to blame each other? Or who really did it? And the whole thing is set up, uh, on the build-up of D-Day. And... Um, there's just so much. So this is probably the largest cast of characters James Ben has had in a book so far. One of which I really liked was named Delenka. She is a fictional character, but um, the organization, the Three Kings. Uh,
I think it was just called the Three Kings Organization. They were a real Czechoslovakian, anti-Nazi, um, sort of freedom fighters, sort of just poke sticks and get in the way of everything type of group. They That actually was real, the group she belonged to. And they were all eventually um, killed and hung for, you know, whatever. Um, but Delenka was one of my favorite characters. She was just this haunting, beautiful character that just wasn't given enough screen time. But the few chapters that she got in the story, I really started to pay attention because I really enjoyed what was going on around that plot point. Um, let's uh, just delve into the plot a little bit. Um, American Lieutenant Billy Boyle is assigned to London by his uncle, General Dwight D. Eisenhower, to investigate the murder of a Russian security officer in the build-up to D-Day. Billy recognizes that this is a politically charged case, pitting allies against one another, and that he must proceed with caution. The Polish contingent is incensed over evidence that implicates the Russians in the murder of thousands of Polish prisoners in the so-called Caton Forest Massacre. And Scotland Yard thinks this murder of a Soviet officer may be a revenge killing. Perhaps perpetrated by Billy's good Polish friend, Kaz. But Billy doesn't buy any of this. Can he find the real murderer, exonerate his friend, and prevent allied re relations from going ass over teapot? Which is the basic plot of the story. I uh, improvised the very final sentence because I didn't want to read it. It was long. Anyway, Rag and Bone, book number five in the Billy Boyle World War II series. Super awesome book. Super awesome series. Love everything about it. Every time I delve into one of these things, I learn so much more about World War II history than I ever thought I needed to know. And I got five books down and ten and counting to go, and each one has gotten better and better. I, I give this a solid 9.5 out of 10. This is just a great series. Everybody who's a student of history should be reading these books right now.